John Jay and Rich. Uh, we just played the brand new Pia Toscano from American Idol. She's in the I studio. Like She's sitting right here right now. Welcome, Pia. Hi guys. I, uh, beautiful. I was telling you Thank when you were you. singing, you got some guts when you sing. You Thank put it all you. you put it all in that jam, didn't you? <laughs> I did, I did. I put everything in that song. And it's funny because when I perform it live, like by the end, like the last note, I'm like dripping sweat because I'm like so into the whole song. So when you go into a studio, this has been quite a ride for you. You go on American Idol. Do they tell you what's going to happen? Do they say, you probably don't know what 25 or 30 million people watching a show is going to do for you, but when you, when you go in there, what, what's the what's the ride like? What, what are you telling yourself in your head? It's crazy. I mean, you just try to take one day at a time, and you never, you just want to go out there, perform your best every single time, and not expect, you know, to be safe. Like, I mean, the night before when I was eliminated, I kind of thought that I was going to be eliminated for some reason. I had a weird feeling. But, you know, you try not to, it, it kind of is like a popularity contest and a vocal contest, so you, you try not to get your hopes up too much and just I think people were, were upset. I think you were too good looking. Oh, thank you. I, I actually thought, because uh, you know, we, we were live, we went on the news all the time, the TV stations want to know what we think of American Idol, and hands down from the beginning, I was like, Pia Toscano is going to win. I kept calling you Pia Tostada. It, oh, that's all good. I was like, Pia, 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 Pia Tostada is going to win like this that. thing, hands down. Like it was To me, it was like zero competition. It was a done deal. I think J-Lo oh, picked you to win like the moment you auditioned, right? She's like, winner, no, the whole thing. I don't, no, no, it wasn't me. I don't think that was me. It well, wasn't. You know, there, there's so. something about you as a contestant, too, that's been a different vibe. I mean, you get kicked off American Idol, yeah. and then you're singing on, then they start following who you're dating, and then you're <laughs> singing on Dancing with the Stars. It's like you have a different vibe of any other contestant I've ever seen. I mean, you signed a record deal, and it was this massive press release two yeah. weeks ago, and then it's like, hey, do you guys want Pia Toscano in the studio? And we're like, of course we do. But it, it's like that's never happened with yeah. 11 season of Idol. There's something different about you. It's crazy. I mean, I'm very thankful. I feel like this year has been has been crazy. It's been such a blessing. And when I was in the process of getting eliminated, I was like, oh, gosh, this is not good. I finished ninth. What is going to happen with my career? And then, you know, I started get I was in the studio right away doing demo work and I was working hard to, you know, hopefully get signed. And then Jimmy wound up picking me up. So it was a complete blessing. What about before that? You wouldn't be cutting demos without American Idol with Jimmy Iovine, right? It yeah. Would, it probably wouldn't have happened that way. I mean, so. I, was cu I was cutting demos back in New York, but it just wasn't the same. American Idol really, like, opened every door. What have you seen? What have you gotten to do that has blown your, your mind so far? Oh, my gosh. Getting to perform. The, the National Memorial Day concert was, was a true honor. That was crazy for me. I mean, just doing that. I mean, performing on Dancing with the Stars, doing Ellen, like being on the Ellen DeGeneres show and, and all that stuff has been insane. And, and this tour. The finale, American Idol, we got to perform with Beyonce. So it's been it's oh, yeah. a, a crazy ride. There's been a lot going on. How was Beyonce about? during the rehearsals and all that stuff? Was she cool? So sweet. She came, We were all shocked because she came in and she was just drop dead gorgeous. She barely had any makeup on and she was so sweet. She's Are really you nice. uh, still dating that ballast dude? <laughs> we're good friends. But you're not, uh, you're not, you're not, you're oh. not boyfriend girlfriend? Are you guys still hanging out? <laughs> yeah, we hang out. Yeah. But you're not boyfriend girlfriend? Um, <laughs> we, yeah. I yeah. Guess. If you go to the movies, will you hold hands? <laughs> Maybe not. Really? I don't know. <laughs> You have little hands. <laughs> I do. I have little chubby fingers. <laughs> I was just noticing your hands. And what's that tattoo on the inside of your hand? That's my grandpa's initial and a, and a wing. He passed away. Our birthdays were a day Aww. apart. And, and he's like the first person I ever sang for. So. Since American Idol or before? He, he passed, passed away in 2007. Oh, and you, you got it back then? The I, yeah, I got it like the year, the year after. I knew it was in a, like a, a sensitive spot, so I didn't know should I get it on my wrist. So it took me a year to think about it, and I knew I wanted it. And before every show, I rub my wrist thirteen times, thirteen times, because his birthday was October thirteenth. Is that so your lucky number? Thirteen is my and and the single dropped on on the thirteenth as well. Oh, that's so, very yeah. Taylor oh, Swift. Yeah. Taylor Swift, yeah. Taylor Swift is all about thirteen. Well, there's yeah. a girl on the uh, U.S. soccer team that wears number 13, too, that says that nobody else wanted a number. She's like, I'll take it. It's my lucky number. Yeah. No problem. And she scored yesterday. Just not enough. <laughs> I know. Hey, so when you're on TV, because you, you're, you're very beautiful, Thank and when you're you. on TV, it, uh, I'm assuming uh, celebrities have like reached out to you outside. Mark Ballas happened to jump in first. <laughs> but have other uh, actors or movie stars asked you out? Um, no, I haven't been asked out, I don't think. Um, no. You don't think? I don't think so. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think. I When I got eliminated, I had, like, a few, like, Ashton Kutcher tweeted me and, like, Dak Shepard, but it wasn't anything like that. They were just, Just only you know, people from Punked? 
<laughs> What's that? Only the people that are involved with the show oh, pumped. That's hilarious. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so maybe yeah, I was. Like, it wasn't us, I swear. So who was your favorite judge on American Idol? Um, my favorite judge, Randy's kind of watched me grow since, um, like season six, cause I kept auditioning and auditioning. Um, so he's really cool. Jennifer's amazing. But Steven Tyler, I was really surprised because he's this like rock star and then he's got the biggest heart ever and mm. he's so warm and sweet and he, he's Italian too. So <laughs> and he didn't really, he didn't really slam anybody no, for a bad performance. Never. He was just you know, because he really cared about us and he really wanted us to do well. So he never wanted to tell us, hey, you know, that wasn't the best performance and make us feel bad. But he would do it in the nicest way possible. And what about all these celebrity like the, the Gaga that came in yeah. and you had uh, I miss Gaga. Sheryl Crow. What celebrity gave you the best piece of advice that you've carried with you from the celebrity judging? Well, actually, it was Mary J. Blige. She wasn't she wasn't a mentor, but I was. Um, it was right before Elton John week, and I was just about to go in and sing Don't Let the Sun Go Down on Me for Jimmy. And Mary J. Blige walked in, and I was nervous as it is because I was just singing this song for Jimmy. I didn't know if he was going to say yes or no. And she was like, you know, she was giving me, like, a lot of performance tips and just and just telling me to, like, heal the people with your performance. And for me, that was, like, what she said, heal That was the, the phrase. Yeah. Because it's hard when somebody says something that you don't get. Anybody can say, make it your own. Yeah. What does that mean? Or just be you, just do you. Yeah. That doesn't mean anything to a lot of people, right? Yeah. But heal the people with your performance. That's I, pretty I good. It was just powerful. So, and the way she said it, I mean, you kind of had to be there to get the whole feeling. But, she, I mean, I've I've been to a few of her concerts, and she's just amazing, and she does heal people. That's yeah, like going her. to yeah. church. Oh, gosh, she's so good. So, <laughs> What do you think about the whole Jennifer Lopez, Mark Anthony divorce? Oh, uh, I... I've, they're both really good people. I mean, we've gotten the opportunity to work with Mark on the show as well. So, I mean, I wish them both the best, and I'm sure. Did they tell you to say that? They had yeah. the, 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 no. the record company like teaches you how to talk to people, don't they? <laughs> no, they haven't even brought this, this, this. I was in the middle of an interview for like CNN the other day, and they were like, "Did you hear about Jennifer and Mark's divorce?" And I was like, "No." <laughs> and what do you think about that? And, I was like, I, See, you know. the first episode of Idol, I think, when Jennifer Lopez started critiquing people, and then mm -hmm. they played Mark Anthony critiquing her. I was like, no. it's over. Yeah, she, he was like, I wouldn't have said what Jennifer said. I disagree with Jennifer. Oh, was yeah. that Motown? I think that was One of those Motown weeks, week when he like, was backstage with us. Yeah. I think and, uh, it was during it was your for me, song. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And you could see her going, like, looking pissed off. Right after that. Was she? <laughs> yeah. Oh my gosh, totally. Did you ever no. see any tension between them at all? Because like, no. they've been known to kind of argue in public. Really? Yeah. I, no, they looked very solid. I mean, I can't really comment on their relationship, but they, they looked really, really solid every time we saw them. If Mark Ballas died, would you cry? <laughs> Guys, yeah. it's terrible. I would cry and I don't even know I, him. I would probably. <laughs> I, I cry for a lot of things. Yeah. <laughs> so, yeah. When was the last time you cried? Um, I think it was yesterday. For what? <laughs> <laughs> I was like in the makeup chair or something. I don't know. You were emotional. Like, all excited I, about I was your like life. one of those emotional days. And uh, yeah. I think it had something to do with my outfit. So let's just say, <laughs> <laughs> let's just say things go well with you and your friend Mark, who is a very good friend of yours, <laughs> and you guys hang out, and you end up getting married. Have you discussed what your first dance might be? Perhaps a Paso Doble <laughs> at the wedding? The Paso Doble. Um, maybe the jive. I don't know. I mean, don't, is there pressure to go out dancing? I mean, normally no, you would tell No, we never him. dance. <laughs> he's been pretty cool on our show. He's been a good friend of the show. He's, he's awesome. He's a really cool guy. He needs to not smoke. I'm going to work to tell him about that. <gasps> he does, does he, he smoke? He smokes. Hey, everybody, didn't we go there? Everybody smoked. I don't, I don't know, know if Mark Ballas no, does. She hangs out with him and she doesn't know he's he does. I'm he guessing he doesn't he smoke. From you, As if he does. He I'm the singer. Me. Is that a confirmed <laughs> smoking <laughs> sighting? I don't need the secondhand smoke. Yeah, I saw him smoke. Really? Yeah. He I must have been. Maybe he was stressed. <laughs> <laughs> and I know that Cheryl Burke talked to us about smoking and we saw Maxim with cigarettes. When okay. checking uh, but I don't know if I saw Mark Ballas smoking or not. Oh, I saw him smoking. I saw him smoking. Uh-oh. I'll have to talk. I'm going to deny See, well, maybe he's past that smoking. Yeah, I hope so. Maybe he quit because he maybe realized because he could, of you. Get a hot chick. <laughs> maybe. <laughs> well, thanks for coming in. Thank you guys so much for having. We me. We like the new song too. This time I'm is glad. very good. Thank you. This time it's is it is it already out? Can you oh yeah, it? it's all yeah. over iTunes. Oh, you get on iTunes. All over. iTunes. Very all nice. Over iTunes. Currently touring with the 2011 American Idols live tour. Thank you very much, Pia Toscana.